All right, here we all are then. Welcome along to our coverage of the final nine of the final round of the TTT22, the Taupo Thermal Throwdown. I'm Bob, joined by Toby in commentary. Hi again. <laughs> Hi again. Uh, and Toby, of course, featuring in the round along with Connor Francis and Andy Davey. So we look at the beautiful, beautiful spa park. Uh, nice job on the stairs too, the local club. They put in stairs, they cleaned up the bramble, doing great. Uh, Connor's minus two, Toby's even, Francis is even, and Andy Davey plus one after the front nine. Starting our coverage off at hole 10, playing down to the point. Yeah, this is uh, when, I de when I decided to finally, which way I was going to go around the park and what areas I was going to use. This is, to me, the signature hole of, of the course. Um, as you go down, it's a little arrow head, so it's wide to start off with. It's uh, dirty on the left, it's even dirtier on the right. We'll fly right over the short basket, which is the everyday use basket, which is kind of handy. It probably speeds up play for uh, non-pros. But this is the championship basket, which is right down on the point. And if you flew over the point, which is OB past the basket, and all OB down the right-hand side as well, you'll see the most beautiful, beautiful, stunningly clean, clear water of the Waikato River that runs from Lake Topo all the way to just south of Auckland. Front off the tee first. Great drive down pretty much the middle skipping into it that's Ooh. beautiful just short of the short basket <laughs> 170 meters now yesterday you threw 150 meters well in in the uh, in your second round unbelievable you snookered yourself a little bit by being out to the right so i'm interested to see how you go today andy davy nice flat shot down dropping the sunglasses again <laughs> but once again, making the uh, the short basket. Uh, handy place to be because it gives you a nice open approach down to the point. Yeah, just a small straight shot pretty much. Yeah. Connor McKinstry leading the championship at 15 under. Nice flat Which shot. Do the same. Well, this is looking kind of familiar. <laughs> Is the next guy going to make, do anything different? I'm guessing being a lefty, you probably are. Ah, uh, that's right. I think I clipped the tree. Ah. Oh. Uh, the good news is you didn't go to the left of the mando. As you go down on this tee, uh, after about 60 metres, there's a mando tree on the left, but you all negotiated that nicely. Will it come back? Will it come back? Yes, it will. Oh, that's beautiful. Pin high. What I love about this game too is everybody's quite happy to say, nice shot, Toby, or, you know, you always yeah, compliment each other's shot. I actually really enjoy watching others' great shots as well. Even though it's a CT, everyone's quite, I don't know, casual about and friendly and... I think in general, we are in New Zealand. I know <laughs> I know. in America, there's a, you'd never say great shot to anybody you were playing against. Well, not in not uh, not all the time, of course. But I've played with a lot of people that would never compliment somebody else's shot. I know the way I see things. I Look want... at these ups. This is a par four. Did nobody tell you? If I was to win the tournament, I want to win by playing well and not someone else playing worse. Uh, I always want my competition to do as best as they can. I just want to be better. <laughs> I love your attitude. Nice. This hole's so different as a headwind there. Yeah, who was that who commented? It's, it's true. Like if the wind is coming from the north and you're playing into the wind down this hole, it is. Uh, it, it adds probably uh, 50 or 60 percent concentration for a start, let alone skill. Oh, I do make that. <laughs> Phew, I was relieved for you. <laughs> I think we're all looking for birdie here. Connor birdie. Okay. 
The more I see of Francis, the more I like his playing. He's a good player. I think that ends us with the star frame. Nice. Four yeah. birdies. Nice. Tequilas all round. <laughs> all right, hole 11, which is uh, from the T just above the river, back up this sort of little gully, really. Head down through the quadruple backflip gully. Yeah, precisely. We'll explain in a minute if you weren't listening to the coverage earlier on. It's not exactly where I put the basket, but I kind of like it. It's good. Frost plays down the centre and... A little bit of a roll away. Puts himself just inside the 10 metre circle. Andy Davey, sidearm as well. Will it roll back over? It's starting to, but a little late. But still handy, still handy. Within the 10. Yeah, six or seven metre putt. It's one of those holes where you stand on the tee and go, this can't be that hard and then do something like that <laughs> it's not that far it's 80 meters yes it is uphill but it's probably only three or four meters above the tee if if that so it's not drastically yeah. uphill this looks good oh the cameraman's starting to worry i think it was long enough i was just trying to throw it into that bank yeah into the little Oh no, not the ledge that the uh, the basket's on. Not too sure what that's all about. Maybe it's something to divert, stop water running down there when they do get the occasional heavy rain. But as I've said earlier on, the, because the ground is mainly pumice, it's very porous, so water doesn't sit in the park very long at all. Francis with a nine metre putt. Nice. Makes it very nice. Very birdie. nice. Yeah, fluid in there. I think you'll be hearing the uh, words Francis and Birdie quite a bit in this back nine. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Rumor, rumor has it. Oh, I make it as well. Hopefully, I'll be hearing Toby and Birdie <laughs> a few times as well. Nice bird, Toby. Um, mind you. At your level, uh, your whole foursomes level, uh, this should be a two. But it's competition golf. And strange things happen. Three birds, one to come. Oh no, it wasn't a bit, it was par, of course, on account of the fact that he clipped the tree on the left. Heading up the hill to hole 12 now. Yeah, up the brand new set of stairs. This is where we were talking about. Uh, there was a local Taupo BMXer who did the first quadruple backflip in the world. And he came from the right hand side of the picture and they built a ramp in there. And he came up the ramp off the left where we are about now and did a quadruple backflip and landed it. First time it ever been done in the world. Um, I love the fact that the, the Topol Council get behind things like that and, yeah. uh, and said, yeah, you can do that in our park, which is brilliant. There's plenty of other councils all around that go, no, you're not touching our park. Mind you, it did take me 20 years to get this course installed, but it's in and it's away and it's a great, great asset for Topol. Right. Yeah. Pretty safe, just... That's a nice drive. That's a great drive. I'd be happy with that any day. I'm happy just to get over that ridge. There's a sort of gully between the tee and the landing area, and the landing area is probably, once again, three or four metres, maybe five metres above the tee level. Uh, it is nice to know, though, that to the left of where the basket is on that hill, that uh, Blackberry's been cleared away. And once again, well done to the local Topo Disc Golf Club. that have done that. 
didn't get enough uh, anhyzer on it. Uh, it looked alright, and you're between the trees, so you have probably got to look, but probably a low ceiling mm. under those uh, blossoming trees. Great time of the year to be in top way. Connor yesterday I remember this similar thing and just rolled off the bank but stayed on it today. Just behind that tree though, making it. He said it himself. Still not wide enough. <laughs> Nice new stairs, Topo Disc Golf Club. Take a bow. We've done some great things in the park. It really is spectacular. All good things. The council's got to love the club. Laying up? Maybe. Maybe not. Not really. Uh, I think you were going for it. Nice. Good run. Nice little subtle signs there with the sign on the tree there, pointing the way to the next tee. Although it's not hard to find your way around this course. It's, it's well marked. Oh, that should have gone in. We feel for you, dude. We feel for you. Bad luck. Everything was good about it except the outcome. Andy. Not quite. Not quite. That gunshot probably didn't help. I think you pretty much block it out because we're quite used to it after 20 years. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I noticed it really well yeah. whilst I'm playing. Ah, good run. Good run. Okay, to end up there, I, I have to give you credit and say you were going for it. <laughs> good solid putt, dude. I think I was going for most of it because I was making my comeback putts. So I was quite yeah. confident in those sort of distances throughout the weekend. Look at that. Is that not a picture? I'd like to tell you what that tree is in the background, but I don't know what it is. It's flax to the left. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Pa, 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 and pa. Oh, hold on. I'm going to come. Pa, 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 and pa. Matching shortened discs. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Sort of the pause. Nice. And no doubt he's pretty chuffed too because uh, the following weekend, of course, Wellington won the NPC. <laughs> All right. I like this hole. I like this hole. It's changed a bit from, from the old days on account of the fact that uh, a lot of the trees have come down and things have changed in the park, but that's inevitable. But this is, this is a great hole. Um, we're shooting to the second basket. I love the fact that um, Topo Disc Golf Club now have uh, installed pretty much two baskets on a lot of the uh, on a lot of the uh, uh, holes where there was short and long options. So it just means that when you turn up, you don't have to play just the course that's been set up. You actually can go. We want to play the championship course. 124 meters, par three, lucky 13. Uphill, so it plays a little bit longer. Yeah, that's true. Um, this is one of the holes. Um, that saw the least birdies, I think, on the course. Yeah, this and the last. I think they were sort of needed a long putt and a good drive to actually even have a chance at birdie. Um, there was a lot of people, uh, right-handed clock throwers that I played with, that were taking the option of going over the top. Um, unless you went over the top and made it down to the hole, uh, I didn't see that as a great option for the simple reason that, the, that we were then putting downhill. And this, as quite a few people know, is, is a roll the way hill. I, I think um, Con is actually about to show you exactly that option. Oh, okay. Here we go. And yeah, actually, I can see the way he's looking. Quite a good one. <laughs> Okay, it works for some people who've got a big arm and are from the Naki. Gets around that pine tree, skips and slides just outside the tent. Okay, that worked for him. Although he's not sitting above it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's, he's actually putting along to the basket as opposed to downhill to it. Yeah. But it's still one of those baskets where uh, 
you can hit the basket or hit the chains and drop out and land on the edge and roll 30 or 40 30 or 40 meters a des <laughs> Strangely enough, when you start playing competition golf or start playing on courses where there is a chance of a roll-off, you soon get used to getting your angles right to know that when you land, you want to land flat on the ground, not on an angle. But of course, when you hit the rim or hit the top of the basket and land, then you have no control of the actual angle that you're yeah. going to land on the ground. And quite often, if the Z's on the disc or spin for the layman, on the disc when it drops like that on the angle um, that's as good as having your foot on the accelerator <laughs> nice four pretty much drop in pots for par here <laughs> just another reminder when you get a chance if you haven't already subscribed to T-Box Media the more the merrier Very nice, very nice. All right, hole 14, lovely tea. Uh, as we pointed out in our coverage yesterday, the uh, trees that used to be in this gully on the right-hand side and the trees that were just out that we used to have to go around the corner and fly through have a long gone. There was a stand of trees through there like the ones you can see in the background, big uh, Pinus radiata, mm -hmm. which uh, New Zealand is renowned for, one of our big exports. Um, I was saying in our coverage of uh, round two, that uh, I wasn't a, a big fan of raised baskets, but I like this one. And the island seems a lot smaller whilst you're playing it than uh, when you're yeah. playing the red course. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Over the three rounds, we played three different coloured courses. And uh, was it the red that was the island didn't come into play? Yeah. And of course, it's so easy to put your disc on the island when it didn't, doesn't really matter but the, mo the moment it matters it puts that little bit of pressure on you although to you guys in fact pretty much everybody playing oh, the tournament don't say that. <laughs> oh no seriously I think it just slips out of my hand I... oh you didn't go far enough out no it goes short as well it's just sorry about that dude <laughs> <laughs> if you hadn't have said that I probably would have made it <laughs> that looks good put a bit of that buddy grunt behind him um, this was kind of an interesting um, oh dude <laughs> no no I was going to take a run at that I actually, I, I think what they did with the the drop zone there by having it where Toby just shot from was kind of a neat thing because it was enticing. It was very enticing, but you didn't fall for it. You thought no. a, a, four, a four is better than a five? Yep. Yeah. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what competition golf is all about. Making those decisions, being smart. Being very smart. Nice putt. Nice putt. Kind of love the idea too that they've done this very professional raised basket. And uh, for those that couldn't reach into the basket, in fact, there's not many people that could actually reach over the over the rim. You could reach through it and get it out. But the, the stairs, as Francis just demonstrated, were a great idea. <laughs> Brilliant. Very good. Take a bow, whoever did that. Take a bow. Got the ad on there for the uh, Tapa Nuitia Disc Golf Classic, which of course is happening in March of next year. Book for that one. Looking forward to that. That's what the uh, the Gentle Sport Topo Classic has become. So I'll, I'll play that as long as I can. <laughs> Uh, 15. This is once again uh, it's very similar. In fact, pretty much the same hole that we've always played in the park. Um, sadly, we don't get to look off the uh, 
the ridge there to the right, there's yeah. a stunning view down to the down to the river. Crystal, crystal clear, beautiful drinking water that leaves Lake Topo and heads heads north. Uh, in years gone by, that was the uh, Indigenous Peoples Highway between uh, pretty much Auckland and the centre of the North Island where we are in Topo. Francis, kind of a flat throw down the middle, but we'll probably skip into the gap like that. Yeah. Like Francis that. Francis playing very solid now. I think after that last hole, I noticed there was a two shot swing with Francis birding it and myself taking a bogey. It was sort of like the first time a weekend I actually looked at the scores and realized I was one behind, oh, one in front. Nice, that's a little bit little better than yesterday. He had a similar shot yesterday, but was stuck behind the trees. This time he skipped through. Hopefully we'll give him a look. Now, Andy yesterday f flew past the hole and gave himself a sort of kneeling only shot, but he didn't do that today. <laughs> okay, Lefty, this is not the easiest hole for an anti-clock spin unless you do that. <laughs> Unless you do that. <laughs> <laughs> skills, dude. Skills. Yeah, worth looking at again, I reckon, too. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> that was my beautiful. Of the weekend. <laughs> I love those discs. It's 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 my favourite mid-range disc as well. It's it, The tragedy is that um, Innova don't make it anymore. It's called a Coyote, and they did uh, the uh, initial run of them, and uh, I had quite a few of them, and Toby and I loved them. But I believe that um, they're made by Discmania, is it? And under a different name because Innova, of course, make their discs. And so uh, they actually bought that mould and uh, have it under, it's called something else. But until I until I lose it, I don't need it anymore. I'll need to find it again soon. Nice. That was a little bit easier than the shot yesterday from uh, literally a similar place, but he was on his hands and knees. <laughs> Joel Quickie getting himself in position to catch the shot. I think that was Steve, actually. Steve was on the um, reaction cam. Oh, was he? Yeah. Not only did he TD, but he did the reaction <laughs> exactly. cam as well. Nice. Oh, it is Steve. It is Steve. This is, this, this is Steve's dirty. first um, time as a full-time TD, total TD. And I've got to say, Steve and your crew... Uh, Richard and Ken and everybody involved take a bow you did a fantastic job and I'm so proud to be an inaugural member of the Topo Disc Golf Club if you're traveling through Topo join the club I think it's is it 25 bucks a year something like that 25 bucks a year to be in the club um, the course is there in a public park it's free to play anytime you like but that money goes to the upkeep and making it happen and the, the hours put into making this event happen all right, hole 16, round the Johnny Horner. Yeah, it's a quite a long hole, this one. So sort we of have to play out into the open. Yeah, area. It, it is. 159 metres. Um, and for someone like me that doesn't have a sidearm or any form of anti-clock spin, um, I really need to turn over this. I, I used a, 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 a member on this and put myself in some nice positions actually but still don't think I've heard it it's sort of right round the corner and into this cutout the bush used to go straight along and they've cleared out this bush line and uh, I think it's a good improvement on the whole the tee's come forward as well the tee used to be another maybe 15 metres back so getting round that corner was not that easy that's nice. I suspect that Francis may have wanted to go a little bit further to give him less angle to get round the corner to the hidden basket. Even from where he is, he won't see the basket. Steve on the catch cam. Skills, dude. Look at you. You're a pro. Connor just doesn't turn this one over enough. and Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing down there? Okay, you're a lefty, dude. Get enough on it. Yeah, could have done with a little bit more height. 
but better out there than in too close yeah i mean from there you can see it i think probably yeah roughly i can see that cut out at least andy with that beautiful flick around the johnny horner that's corner and company just in case you're wondering Francis up first for his second shot gets around the corner is he far enough yes he is oh beautiful perfectly done beautiful there's the first of the birdies to come well when I say the first of the birdies the first of the birdies for this group on this hole but uh, it seems Francis is on a bit of a run even Connor with a nice up shot into the bushes but from where he was located not bad at all yeah okay you can just see the basket in there come on fade over fade over fade over oh that was handy <laughs> what did you a favor there Andy side over and around the corner as well and that ladies and gentlemen by this is the top group <laughs> and male pro open oh, push putt skills oh okay yeah it is a bit tricky he had the trees to get through um, i presume it was his only option yeah i think he said that he didn't have many other options with mm. being in that position got a friend in the states in florida Steve who only does push putts if he's within 15 meters and he is deadly accurate three nice birdies yeah three, three nice birdies And Connor a bogue, but being the 16th hole with only two to come, I think he could probably afford it. <laughs> uh, this is the ninth hole. Don't do what you did yesterday. Uh, yeah, I pretty this much is... just aim to not hit the tree. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this was the CTTP hole, closest to the pin hole, and uh, I can't remember her name. Can you remember the lady that uh, held it? And that was that was it. it was beautiful. Uh, I think Francis. Well. Oh, oh did on. he? Did he? Um... There was a ladies' one, and then there was a men's one. Oh, okay. So, I may have just spoiled something. Soon find out. But I love this hole, and that tree in front. Uh, I've had a few people say to me, "Oh, you spoiled that." <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So. Uh, being the last players on this hole i suspect uh, he's quite confident he just picked up the cttp prize yeah um, sort of unless you could do something spectacular <laughs> here dude oh it it's came gonna over fade away more. it's gonna fade away it's gonna fade away that's the coyote isn't it yeah yeah see after that i sort of gave him that shot and thought we were all tied up in my head oh okay into the last Wow, that's shot away. Uh, everybody will clear so far of the um, OB down the right hand side. Kind of a good idea of making that OB. I think I, I I never had because I just figured, oh well, if you're in there, you're in there. But it does speed up play, and every time we play in this park in a tournament, I suspect the tournaments will sell out. Ah, oh, Connor just landing in yeah, I was like, sure, greener right patch of grass. Smart play. Put it underneath. Put it underneath. Connor with a 10.1 meter putt. Myself with a 10.1 meter putt. <laughs> This is where we used to start and finish our rounds 
when I first put it in the course because that was the only car park down the bottom there but now we actually start and finish at the car park as you drive into the park nice part incidentally <laughs> thank you um, I kind of liked too the idea that with holes like this and on hole one which were CTTP holes um, they put the circle around which certainly made it a lot easier you didn't have to measure if you went oh am I closer than where it is you know it, yeah, it, it helped exactly. immensely by just being able to look at the circle uh, presuming the circle was exactly <laughs> round the basket yeah yes nice work the CTTP is yours have a look at that drive again all yours Francis and this is how it happened skip roll 1.5 meter putt <laughs> beautiful all right final hole this is a good one as well uh, this is once again um, including two of the holes that um, I designed originally in the course we used to come from over to the right up to the left and to, onto that little stand there and then go down to where we are now on this flyby and then shoot from here up to this basket but uh, I kind of like what's happened here it's all one hole now as is a couple of the other holes in the course and it's all the way up to the back basket for you guys playing the black tees mm. 140 meters um, it's not just about power though there's a little bit to negotiate between the T um, it's nice that we do this here but I think it's very American the fact that we always everybody you know, yeah I'm, high fives or shakes hands as you go into the last hole and I think they started doing that in America because people were so competitive that if it didn't go their way they stormed off after the round and, and didn't shake hands so I think they all decided that we better shake hands before we actually throw the last hole uh, that was a nice drive straight down the middle you can see the mando tree to the left there the the tree that's out beside the road so it stops you going out over the road oh you found a gap no nope. oh <laughs> uh, not a bad place to be though and you've had plenty of practice from there having played 20 years from that old tee position from tea, yeah yeah uh, okay andy found a gap got right up to uh, the short basket which is probably close to 100 meters I'm guessing that short basket probably about 40 meters from the end of the hole to the to the back basket Connor hoping that will fade to the right it didn't fade to the right it ricochet to the right um, I think that tree's far enough down the fairway though that he didn't go down the hole um, at the lowest point of the fairway here that we're walking up now if you go to the right there there's a nasty hole uh, that'll be it that's but it actually goes down a lot deeper so it wasn't that far down it goes down probably another five meters and all you can do is play up to the horizon you can see good out there from Connor nice I suspect he um, purposely tried to skip around that corner and a relatively sharp skip to get back up towards the basket just sort of takes those trees out of play I think we um do we miss my second shot uh, I'm not sure. I think oh, we yeah, do you would have yeah. been up so which, I think is which is probably a good thing actually <laughs> because at this stage yeah we did because at this stage I'd come to uh, come to watch I thought I needed to hit this here, but didn't get a hold of it. And the putter didn't come over, yeah. As often happens. <laughs> as often happens. Connor's feeling quite confident here. He's got a few strokes up his sleeve as in five Andy Davey run at a birdie yes very nice a nice birdie. very nice now check this out ladies and gentlemen not this one. Oh, okay well check this out too this beautiful form now this is something you had to hit to at least 
share but... second place and you did but now let me repeat check this out ladies and gentlemen oh okay <laughs> i'll get it right this time to be fair that right, was nice. our that was a great part that was, that was our ttt winning part there it, it was as well it was as well but uh here we go check this out ladies and gentlemen have a look at that score line as francis putts for yet another birdie count them one two three four five six and seven 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 birdies on the back nine on the spa park championship course and there you have it oh he's a handsome looking guy <laughs> Connor McKinstry uh, from New Plymouth, a knacky boy, the inaugural winner of the very first Topwar Thermal Throwdown 2022, the TTT 22 champion. Stunning park for disc golf and take a bow, Topwar Disc Golf Club. You did us proud. But there's the back nine results here. Seven under for Francis. Toby, four under. Andy Davy four under. And Connor, interesting, three under, but I suspect he probably relaxed a little knowing he went into the round with a, 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 a bit of a buffer. But that's it. That is our T-Box media coverage of the 2022 Topo Thermal Countdown. Thanks so much for your company and look forward to seeing you again here on T-Box Media. Thanks for joining me. That's been great.